and uh, it's very, 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 very hard to start a company. You have to make huge sacrifices to be successful. That would be the thing I would say. Actually, I, I teach at New York University, and I meet a lot of students, and there's like, well, everybody wants to be an entrepreneur now, right? Because there's like this sort of startup fever going on, but not everybody has is an entrepreneur. I mean, maybe one in a thousand people thinks like an entrepreneur is willing to make the sacrifices to be an entrepreneur. And uh, uh, so it's not necessarily something that everybody should try to do. Um, you know, I felt compelled to do it when I was young. And, uh, and that wasn't necessarily a very healthy decision to make. <laughs> I think people, you can be a lot happier with a, with a nice job and a pension and uh, security. Um, but the romance is, of course, that everybody gets to be Mark Zuckerberg, right? Or Bill Gates, or whatever. But for every one of those, there are 10,000, 100,000 people who don't make it. Um, I'm, I would like to be answer your questions about what the reality of it is, and what's the best approach for you to personally to take. You know, if you have questions about that. Um, so I started two companies, and then after that, I got into starting technologies, which is a very different thing. Um, I thought I was starting a company, but I ended up producing uh, blogging software, the first blogging software, and and uh, by practicing it, I became some people think the first blogger. And uh, also along the way, we developed what's now called RSS, and also podcasting. So those are the three things that uh, are my claim to fame. Um, and it's actually a little easier to get a new technology established than it is to get a company established. Paradoxically, <laughs> but both are actually kind of difficult. So, when you say you were felt compelled, yeah. what does that feel like? Because some of you, I'm yeah, sure some totally. of you have a feeling that you want to be an entrepreneur. But I'm curious when Dave uses that word, compelled. Compelled is it, it maybe is it doesn't even capture the obsessiveness of it. I mean. Um, for me, my worth as a human being was locked up in my ability to be successful at, uh, I don't even think I called it an entrepreneur. Well, the moment I knew that I was compelled was I was leaving the office of the company that I started one day and we were in terrible trouble. Um, we were, you know, on the verge of financial collapse. And as I was locking the door, always, I was always the first one in in the morning and the last one out at night. <laughs> So nobody works harder than the founder does. That's the one thing you find out. And uh, as I was locking up, I, I tried to visualize what it would be like locking up for the last time. In other words, locking up the company as a failure. I just couldn't do it. I said, I don't think I would exist as a human being if I did that. I think I would cease to exist. And uh, that was what it felt like. I had a board, my board of directors told me to shut the company down. And he said, this is not going to make it. And I said, you're crazy. I'm not going to shut it down. We're going to make it work. Um, so, but it felt like it's it's not a good thing, actually. I don't think it's a good thing. So I, don't, calling. I don't think you're, no, I don't think it's an obsession. I think that you're, if you feel that your self-worth is locked up in success or failure, it's not a good thing. It's not. Your self-worth comes from within you, from who you are. Uh, it's it's not even how, whether your family loves you, that's probably more important than whether you're success in business, but even that's not what determines your self-worth. Your self-worth comes from within you. And I think entrepreneurs are missing that. I think we, were, we miss that. Uh, so we look for external validation, for, for some external form of confirmation that we actually are there and valued and all these sorts of things. It's not... Not a nice thing, actually. So there's been a lot um, in Silicon Valley now. Everyone 